Hi there, Indo4 here. Welcome back to yet another TF2 live commentary. Now I know I haven't done one in a while, but that's for a good reason because one, I've been, you know, uploading different types of videos, and two, I've just been, you know, busy with life, I guess. <laughs> It's probably just gonna be an LNWI episode now that I think about it. Screw it, let's just make it one. So, where have I been these this past month, I guess? Or a few weeks? Well, not really much has happened. Except me finding a new partner. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Well, I know it sounds it's a it's kind of short, but what do you really want me to say? I mean, I found a new partner. I recorded some videos. Yeah. Then what else can I really add? I'm trying to commentate while while in this little sticky little situation that I've got myself in. But yeah, I mean, not really much. It's like the third time I'm saying it, but not much has genuinely happened. I mean, school's gonna start soon. I just received my uh, schedule for what, how many, and what types of lessons I'm gonna have. And this year, I'm just gonna, you know, focus on my studies, you know, not, you know, go to any parties, stuff like that. Not that I even went to any of them, but you know what I mean. Just no, just not procrastinate as much as I did uh, last year at least. That'll be a goal of mine. And also to enroll into the university that I want to get into, I need to pass, I need to pass my uh, phys physics exam and my math exam. Now, math, not really an issue. I actually really like math, but, you know, I'm decently good at it. But physics, oh yeah, physics, I am, I absolutely struggle, I'm gonna be quite honest. I am terrible, and I mean terrible at physics. Like, I barely passed last year on, like, a, like, not a barely passing grade, but just above a barely passing grade. So I secured that. Now the rest of the lessons I, of course, I'm also gonna focus on, but math, physics are my two main priorities, are gonna be my main priorities this year, and, you know, hoping to pass, you know, hoping to pass ninth grade. Yeah, I know, I don't really sound like I'm supposed to be in ninth grade, but, you know, God held back a year in kindergarten. You know, because I was sick for 80-60% of the year, so that just caused me to, you know, get sent back a year. And how I'm not in uh, 10th grade? Well, I just waited out a year. You know, I was, I, was, I was a dumb kid, I was lazy. Did you think I actually wanted to go to school? <laughs> no one wanted to go to school. Even myself at the, like, young age of 7, I didn't want to go to 1st grade, so I was just like, eh. I'll just wait out a year, nothing bad will happen. I mean, I'm actually kind of thankful that I did wait out a year because, well, you know, everything leads up to a certain point, you know, I'm thankful, you know, for having, you know, skipped out that year, so, you know. I think I met a lot of my favorite YouTubers, all of that, I found my hobby in content creation, you know, just all of that. I'm not really thankful, because, you know, some things that you do, they lead up to, you know, bigger things, you know. Sometimes, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna say, look. I'm just thankful for all the stuff that has happened to me in my life, you know. Good or bad, you know. It always has a purpose. Whether good or bad, you know. Better to be thankful than to not be, right? I guess, I don't know. That was a nice shot. Probably a spy behind me, nope. I'm doing quite alright this game, I'd say. Getting some, you know, 
I'm hitting some shots. Didn't let you say. <laughs> Not doing the best though, but can't always do the best, you know what I mean? You're never gonna, sh you're not gonna shine all the time like a bright star, you know? Ow, I'm almost dead. But, uh, you know, those are my plans for this year, school year at least. Now, what am I gonna do in terms of the channel? Well, as always, you know, just upload consistently. You know, upload the things that I want to upload, you know, maybe you guys will like them as well. If you guys want to, you know, recommend me something, you know, be f feel free to, you know. I'll check it out, you know. Maybe I'll play the game, maybe I'll talk about that thing, maybe I won't, you know, we'll see. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to, uh, <clears throat> uh, to the school year. Now, of course, it's gonna be difficult, there's gonna be lots of projects lots of boring garbage but you know i'm happy that i'm at least gonna have a friend you know help me through them all the way not really help but just you know be there it always helps when a friend's around you know what i mean it's always good to have at least one good friend i don't know in my opinion i like having one friend to you know stick to not multiple because it's not about how many friends you have, it's about the quality of your friends, you know? Because if you have like, a hundred bronze, you know, but one diamond, would, like, would you rather have one, a hundred, like, pieces of bronze or one diamond? Like, I mean, sure, it's nice to have more, but, you know, sometimes it's more about quality than quantity, you know? And so... You know, probably just me, my personal opinion, but I'd rather have one really, really good friend. You know, a, the friend that's a diamond, you know, because it's, it's, it's hard to find people like that, but once you do, they're gonna be there for most likely a lifetime, you know. You know, you, sharp, you sharpen iron with iron, I think that's how the saying went, you know. Like two diamonds, you know, sharpen each other, but not really. But you get what I mean. You know, if both of you are diamonds, you'll bond perf you'll bond beautifully. You know, you'll most likely be friends. You know, until death. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to make sense somewhat. Because I'm, you know, trying to play the game. I'm trying to talk, talk about my life, all that stuff. You know, I, gen I genuinely enjoy talking to the camera. You know, talking to you guys. You know, playing my one of my favorite games. It's one of the things I actually want to keep doing. You know, preferably as you know, not as a job. I'd ha I I'd, I'd I'd hate to see YouTube as a job because you know this is just this is my hobby. I love doing this. Like, I mean, if I can monetize it, sure. You know, that's an added bonus, but. To think that my hobby would become a job. I mean, sure, it's not bad, you know, if I still enjoy it and I love it and I make money, you know, that's awesome. But, I'm gonna be honest, I mean, money is just a bonus. I mean, the only thing I care about is, you know, you know, having fun, entertaining you guys, and all that. Money is a bonus. Like, I know this is what, like, most people say, but. You know, money doesn't really buy happiness because, you know, most people are like, but it does because, well, you know, for some people, yeah, it could, you know, save them out of poverty, you know, help them pay the bills, all that. Fair, you know, fair, valid argument. But me personally, I mean, the reason I, you know, the reason... I, like, I don't know. Like, once you have, like, money, freedom, everything just becomes less exciting. Because, you know, you can you can afford it. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, losing too much. Because, you know, when you don't have everything, that's when it becomes actually, you know, exciting to, you know, when you're actually, like, buying something. Oh, you're buying that new phone. 
You're buying that new computer, that new book that you've always wanted, you know. You know, that's the excitement. And once you can, you know, afford all of that and not worry about it, the excitement's kind of just dwindles, you know. I mean, sure, it's nice, but money is nice, you know. It's always nice to have. Whether or not you're happy or sad, but you now for some people, kind of like me, money doesn't really buy happiness. Because for me, the thing that, you know, you know, the thing that gives me happiness is, you know, being entertaining, you know, entertaining people, you know, making people smile, you know, seeing them laugh, you know. That's what I genuinely, you know, that's what genuinely brings me happiness. If I'm being 100% honest. I mean, money does also bring me happiness, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not a straight up, you know, money hater or anything, but, you know, just for me, money, it wouldn't make me that happy. I mean, sure, it's, it's freedom, you know, but, like, something like friends, you know, relationships, all that, I value that way, way higher than money, than I ever will with money, because, Unlike friends or relationships, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, job opportunities, those you can't buy with money. And especially friends, you know, you can't buy yourself friends, you have to be, you know, to have, you know, good quality friends you need to be, you know, you don't have to be the best person in the world, you know, you just, this is my advice for most people, like, I'm I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but you know, I'm a I'm a I'm not a nice person, but I'm more of a kind person. I care about people. I genuinely, you know, want the best for everyone. Doesn't matter if they hate me or not. I still want the best for them. You know, you don't have to like me. I I'm still gonna wish the best for you, because I genuinely want to see you succeed. I. What I'm trying to say is I genuinely care about people because I see them as actual people, you know, people with personalities, all that, you know, not just, you know, things that I can buy with money or like job opportunities or just people that I can use for this and that. No, I act, I genuinely see them, you know, as people, as friends, even, you know, if I like them enough. Now, what was I even trying to say? I kind of lost my train of thought, but I think you guys get what I mean. You don't have to be the world's best person. You don't have to be charming. You don't have to have the best personality. You don't have to be a comedian. You just have to be kind to people. Respect people. Just, you know, it's kind of a cliche quote, but just treat people the way you want to, you know, be treated. Now, I know that doesn't always happen. People are still gonna be, you know, assholes towards you, even if you treat them nice. And all I have to say is those people, they're genuinely just hateful. They have some type of hatred, either for the world, or specifically you. You know? That's fine. You know? It's alright. You don't have to be liked by everyone. Like, if you please everyone, or like, you try to make everyone happy, you stand for nothing. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. Like, unless you stand for something, good or bad, it doesn't matter, you know? It's always better to stand for something instead of completely nothing, you know? Good or bad. Now, preferably, you know, it's better to stand, you know, for good, you know? Stand against evil. But, you know, I don't know. If it was up to me, I'd stand for, you know, of course, good. But I could never stand for nothing because it's just like what's your purpose in life if you stand for nothing? You stand against nothing, you know? Like it just kind of makes you feel uh, feel soulless in a way because you know you don't have a personality. You d you're not a person in a way if you don't stand for at least something. Yeah, but that's just my uh, you know rambling about you know people being people. Yeah, you know, I genuinely just, you know, love rambling. Well, not really rambling, but, you know, talking about this sort of stuff, because it's what piques my interest, and it's what, you know, 
interests me. I said that twice and with different words, but you get what I mean. I just genuinely enjoy having these types of conversations with you guys. Whether it be with myself if no one watches this, still, and putting it out into the world just in case, you know, maybe if one person watches this and they get something from it, you know? And maybe I make them happy, maybe I, you know, maybe I put a smile on their face every day. It doesn't matter if I'm, you know, recording for one person, a hundred people, a thousand people, a hundred thousand pe million people. Still, even if one person is watching, I am going to upload daily. Just so, you know, that it puts a smile on that single person's face because, you know, sure, it may not... It may not be saving lives, but it's saving a life, you know, in case, you know, they're going through a tough time, you know. Entertainment is a powerful thing. Like, some people just see it as entertainment, but entertainment to some people is, you know, it's how they get by, you know. Whether it be from happiness, you know, maybe just that one video of a specific person makes them happy, you know. Like, you get what I mean. You know, it just helps people go through some tough times. You know, this is what my channel kind of is for. It's to genuinely put smiles on people's faces. Because, in all honesty, I care about all of you. Even if it's one, ten, maybe even a hundred people. hundred people are definitely not gonna watch this. But, I genuinely care about all of you. Maybe in the future, if I get big, you know, I'm hoping to, you know, this is a message to the future, Indo, you know, stay how you are, don't change, and keep at it, keep uploading, man, you've got this, nothing's stopping you, <laughs> uh, that's how I'd like to conclude it, the beautiful ending. You know, I was taught to love and forgive, not to hate, and definitely not forget. Dindo, out. See ya.